Welcome to new stargazing celebrity. If you enjoy this style of videos, support us by liking and subscribing to the channel and stay with us until the end of this video. King Charles III recently delivered a significant speech in Samoa, marking his first address as head of the Commonwealth. During this speech, he acknowledged the enduring impact of Britain's colonial past, particularly regarding slavery. His comments come amidst increasing calls from various Commonwealth leaders for discussions around reparations for slavery, a topic that has gained traction in recent years. I end his speech on October 25, 2024, King Charles stated that the most painful aspects of our past continue to resonate, emphasizing the need for leaders to find creative ways to address ongoing inequalities. While he did not directly mention reparations for the Atlantic slave trade, the context of his remarks was clear, there is a pressing need to confront historical injustices head-on. This stance aligns with sentiments expressed by leaders from Caribbean nations who are advocating for reparative measures from the UK government. The discussion around reparations is not without its complexities. UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer, also present at the conference, focused on current challenges rather than historical grievances. He stated that while slavery is universally recognized as abhorrent, his priority lies in addressing contemporary issues rather than engaging in historical reparations debates. Similarly, Chancellor of the Exchequer Rachel Reeves echoed this sentiment, acknowledging the demands for reparations but clarifying that the current government has no plans to pursue such actions. King Charles's position as a constitutional monarch requires him to navigate these discussions carefully. He must balance personal convictions with the policies set forth by the elected government. Advocates like Laura Trevelyan have suggested that the king should take a proactive stance by making a meaningful financial gesture on behalf of the royal family to acknowledge past wrongs. I in his address, King Charles emphasized the importance of understanding history to inform future decisions. He stated, none of us can change the past, but we can commit, with all our hearts to learning its lessons and to finding creative ways to right inequalities that endure. This commitment highlights a forward-looking approach aimed at fostering cohesion within the Commonwealth while recognizing historical grievances.